Hello everyone, I'm super excited to continue this series of me creating some setups for my reading bullet journal. If you want to see what I've created so far, don't hesitate to click on my previous videos. And so today I decided to create a wish list setup. Why? It's actually funny because I do have a wish list on Goodreads, but it's so long and messy that I decided to recreate one in my bullet journal. And just make it more compact and thoughtful because I just keep adding books on Goodreads without thinking of why I want to read them so much. And you will see that, for example, all the books I'll write down on this page are the books I already own and haven't read yet. Um, I did it because I want to incentivize myself to read them first before buying any other book. Um, because I do have now a tendency of doing that. For the cases, I actually decided to create them bigger than maybe some other templates you've seen on Pinterest or Google or even YouTube because I just wanted to have enough space to write the whole title and the author's name. I didn't want to, do, to write any abbreviation, which is why I think I'll recreate the same setup multiple times to maybe have at least around 50 to 60 books I want to read. Um, I think I'll maybe leave a few blank pages just in case if my wish list will get bigger. But so far, I think like 50 to 60 is fine. Um, at the bottom, I had a little bit of space, but not enough space to add another book. So I decided to add some stickers and I really like them. You have a lot of variety with like, you know, the Sakura theme. It's really vintage also, so I love it. So I actually bought some more items on Sheen. I bought a lot and it was really affordable, which, you know, made me happy because sometimes this like scrapbooking bullet journal uh, stuff can be pretty expensive, but on Sheen it was super affordable. So I bought this wax stamp. I just thought that the whole color scheme fitted perfectly with my vintage Sakura theme. So I picked one of them, but I decided to put a sticker first and then put the stamp over it. I thought it would create kind of like a letter feel to it. So it's one of my favorite stickers as well. So I was super excited to use it finally. And then I decided to add more stickers to kind of fill in the blanks that I have up there. And as you know, I'm using the washi tape set uh, called Sakura Breeze from Notebook Therapy. You also get a lot of stickers usually in this washi tape set. And that's what I've been using so far. And I still have a lot left. So I used a wind shimmy, then also a Sakura Free. And then another stickers. I just love the whole setup because I really want to visit Japan during spring one day. So hopefully my, my dream will come true. Uh, but yeah, just like this whole, you know, setup makes me feel a little bit closer to Japan. I don't know. So now actually writing all the books that are on my wish list that I'm either currently reading. Uh, the one I'm currently reading is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. Um, it's kind of a folklore retelling and honestly mythology and folklore retelling is one of my favorite genre. And so I decided to add some more pop of color to kind of like distinguish better the titles of the cases with what it's written underneath um, and yeah there is one book that I read in the past I already added the ranking I love this book it's Envoûtement by Caroline Schultz I think it was written a long time ago and so I just why I added it because I want to reread it it's actually my bingo spread but I want to reread a book from my teenage times so this is the one and here is a close up what I've done in this setup. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!